welcome students okay hope you all are staying safe at home okay let us continue the methods of tax evasion so okay here we talked about the two methods of the tax evasion one is smuggling another one is custom duty evasion these are the methods what the people are following to evade the tax normally so in addition to these methods we have some other methods so that is before uh, actually now we know the gst means good service tax so okay it is the new tax regime new tax system which is introduced by the government so okay we the uh, majority of the people are following the gst so okay anyway here but uh, before the gst we have different types of indirect taxes in our indian economy so suppose uh, one of them was uh, so we we are going to talk about is uh, suppose uh, if you sell the any product to the customer you need to pay the tax that is what we are calling as vat means value added tax so okay here suppose here vat is the tax to be paid that is what we are calling as vat means value added tax the name itself indicates when the value is added we need to pay the tax for example from the supplier to manufacturer manufacturer to distributors distributors to retailers retailers to the customers at every point of stage at every stage some value is added value addition is being done so when the value addition is being done we need to pay the tax that is what we are calling as value added tax so before the gst we have a vat we have vat so okay suppose as a customer as a seller if you sell the goods to the customer you need to charge the vat suppose one percent vat is being charged uh, for example suppose if you sell the 100 uh, product with the value of 100 rupees in that 100 rupees one rupee should be paid as a vat so okay you collected vat from the customer but you need to uh, you need to pay the this vat to the government so in that regards some people are some people may do they collect the vat from the customers but they are not paying the tax to the government how it is done means simply by the reducing by the showing the sales were lower than the actual sales suppose if you uh, if the person sales are 1 lakh rupees the vat to be paid is the 4000 4% vat to be paid for example uh, in the 1 lakh rupees 4000 to be paid as a vat so okay the sales uh, the sales are 1 lakh sales are done money is collected from the customers so vat is also collected so now his responsibility is he need to pay the vat to the government so here in that regards suppose if he show his sales are 80000 rupees on the on the records he shows his sales are 80000 rupees so now on the 80000 rupees 4% vat is there so on the 80000 4% means 80000 into 4 by 100 3200 rupees so actual sales were 1 lakh vat was 4% means 4000 but uh, he is showing sales are 80000 now he is paying vat is 3200 4000 vat to be paid actually but he is paying only 3200 so okay here 800 uh, he is escaping the payment of 800 rupees so okay is it tax evasion or not it is a tax evasion which tax he is evading means vat he is evading the vat this is what we are calling as vat evasion what we are calling as vat evasion means value added tax evasion how it is done means by the showing the less sales amount than the actual sales so then to escape from the payment of vat is what we are calling as vat evasion or value added tax evasion so this is the one way this is another way that some people are following it and next one is so okay you may observe that some people may earn the income by the betting uh, drug supplies and some other illegal activities 
so when they earn the income by the illegal way this income is simply called as illegal income income from the illegal sources for example if you if you get an income by the betting by the following by the involving the cricket betting it is an income you may earn the income but it is not a legal way it is an illegal way suppose if your income is like that that income is called as illegal income so when the income is illegal they are not paying the tax so okay in that uh, in that regards also in the in this situation also tax evasion is done because they are escaping they are not paying the taxes on the income this is what we are calling as illegal income illegal income tax evasion illegal income tax evasion so okay here tax evasion is done on the illegal income so okay here this is the one way and let us see the another one suppose here uh, before before going to discuss the topic uh, methods uh, so let me write something that is suppose we do the sales if you do the sales we will generate the revenue so the the amount what we get from the sale selling of a product is called as revenue so okay here this is what sometimes we call it as income also anyway suppose our revenue is 10 lakhs rupees okay our revenue is 10 lakhs rupees so okay here uh, your your total sales are 10 lakhs rupees so here to earn this revenue you may spend some amount of money is what we are calling as expenses definitely in order to earn this revenue we should have spent some amount of money that is what we are calling as expenses suppose if your expenses are 5 lakhs so okay here if you deduct 5 lakhs rupees from the 10 lakhs the remaining amount will be as you know very well 5 lakhs so now the difference between the expense and revenue is what we are calling as is what we are calling as profit so now our profit is 5 lakhs rupees so okay as a business person if you earn the profit on the profit we need to pay the tax so now we need to pay the tax on the 5 lakhs rupees for example tax at 10 percentage the rate of tax is 10 percentage here on the 5 lakhs 10 percent means 50,000 rupees tax to be paid okay this is clear suppose here some people may do that suppose here if I show my revenue is 10 lakhs but if I show my expenses are 8 lakhs now what is the position of profit means position of profit is the 2 lakhs okay here this is the profit I am showing in my accounting books so on this profit I need to pay the 10% tax that is 20,000 rupees so okay here and this suppose this is case 1 let us see another case case 2 suppose here my expenses are 5 lakhs here I am not uh, we are not changing the expenses we are showing as it is but we are showing our revenue is 6 lakhs so now 6 lakhs minus 5 lakhs that is 1 lakh rupees now our profit becomes the 1 lakh rupees on the 1 lakh rupees we need to pay the 10 percent tax that is 10,000 rupees so okay here three situations are appearing this is the original situation originally actually the person revenue is 10 lakhs the person expenses are 5 lakhs profit is 5 lakhs on the profit 5 lakhs the person has to pay 50,000 rupees tax so okay but he suppose in the case one the person the person shows revenue is 10 lakhs expenses are 8 lakhs then profit becomes to the 2 lakhs the tax which is to be paid on the 2 lakhs rupees is 20,000 rupees 
but in the case to oh, suppose first let us observe what is done in the case one so okay is tax liability reduced or not so it is reduced but in which way it is reduced how it is reduced let us see so okay how it is reduced means why the tax liability is reduced means profit is reduced so okay how the profit is act reduced means is it actually reduced or so okay is it done by the uh, another way so okay it is not actually reduced our actual pro uh, person actual profit is 5 lakhs but it is showing as a 2 lakhs how it is done means by the increasing the expenses he is showing his expenses his expenses are 8 lakhs but in actual case his expenses are 5 lakhs so by the increasing the expenses so okay the increased expenses reduce the profits when the profits are reduced the tax what we are going to pay also reduced so this in this regard finally what is done means tax tax liability is reduced okay is it right is it legal or illegal so it is ultimately illegal because his actual expenses are 5 lakhs but he is claiming and he is showing his expenses are 8 lakhs so that's why so this is not uh, here by the following illegal ways he is reducing his tax liability this is what we are calling as tax evasion how this tax how the tax evasion is done in this case means by the showing the expenses more than the actual so okay he is showing his expenses are 8 lakhs but in the actual case his expenses are only 5 lakhs so okay here this is uh, this is the way he is using to reduce his tax liability to reduce his tax liability so okay this is what we are calling as over statement of expenses or over estimation of expenses this is the another way over our estimation of our estimation of expenses and so here the tax evasion is done by the our estimation of expenses or our statement a statement of expenses simply by the showing uh, increasing expenses than the actual and in the second case so okay here the tax liability is 10,000 how the tax liability is 10,000 means because the profit is 1 lakh so okay how the profit is 1 lakh means there is no change in the expense but he showed the person shown his income was only 6 lakhs rupees but his actual income was 10 lakhs rupees revenue was 10 lakhs actually he got 10 lakhs rupees revenue but he is showing that he earned only 6 lakhs rupees revenue 6 lakhs minus 5 lakhs rupees then his profit becomes only 1 lakh rupees on the 1 lakh rupees he is ready to pay the 10,000 rupees tax but the actual tax what he has to pay is 50,000 but the tax what he is paying is the only 10,000 rupees only 10,000 rupees is it tax evasion or not simply it is the tax evasion here which way in which way he is doing tax evasion means by the showing less revenue than the actual revenue this is what we are calling as understatement of revenue understatement of revenue so finally we can say the majority of the people are following two ways that is either power estimation of expenses or next one is understatement of the revenue so okay, some people may show you more expenses than the actual expenses in their accounts to reduce the tax liability in the similarly some people may show lower revenue than the actual revenue to reduce the tax liability in these two cases what is done means tax evasion is done because we can say the actual tax to be paid is 50,000 but in the case one the tax which is being paid is 20,000 if you take the case to the tax which is being going which is going to be paid is 10,000 in both the cases tax liability is reduced in both the cases they follow the illegal way so they show the wrong accounts 
so one in one in in uh, in the first case expenses are shown more in the second case revenue is shown less both are not actual both are not real but by the using the uh, illegal way they are reducing the tax liability in both the cases reducing tax liability by the following illegal way is called as tax evasion so that's why these are the two methods of tax evasion so okay finally these are the various methods of the tax evasion one is smuggling customs duty evasion vat evasion means value added tax evasion illegal income tax evasion over estimation of expenses understatement of revenue over estimation of expenses means show the more expenses than the actual understatement of revenue means show the less income than the actual so okay hope you all understood thank you very much